Buck Denver here, Paulina Pistols, or the letters written by Paul. Sunday school lady, what can you tell us about these letters? The New Testament has 21 letters in it. We call these the epistles. The first 13 are the ones written by Paul. They are, in order, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. Is that the order they were written? Of course not. That would make too much sense. To really explain these letters, we need something more advanced than a flannel graph. Fear not! I am on the job! Oh, hi, Dr. Schnivenhausen. I guess you'll be taking this one. Who else can apply the powers of science to dramatic biblical visualization? Behold, the epistle -o -puter. I thought that was the prophet o -puter. That was last year's model. Technology changes quickly. I've moved on. What'd you do with the old one? Exchanged it at Radio Shack for a $50 gift card. Ooh, what are you gonna do with a gift card? I was thinking about one of those little remote control helicopters. <gasps> I love those. Um, guys, can we get back to the show? Oh, uh, sorry. Can I play with it? Sure thing. The letters of Paul. The way we find them in the Bible, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, and Philemon isn't in order when they were written. They're arranged instead from longest to shortest. More or less. Sort of like the prophets in the Old Testament, with the big major prophets and then the little minor prophets after that. It's a lot like that. We aren't sure why the books of the prophets and Paul's letters got put together this way, but that's the way it is. Right, so Paul's longest letter, Romans, comes first. And at the end, we find Philemon, a letter so short, Paul could have written it on the back of an envelope. What's an envelope? We'll explain it to you later. Paul wrote these 13 letters over about 15 years, from around 50 AD until around 65 AD. Yeah, we can visualize. First and second Thessalonians and Galatians were written first, around 50 AD. First Corinthians was written four or five years later, and second Corinthians about a year after that. The big one, Romans, came around 57 AD, followed by Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, and Philemon, all around 62 AD. He sure wrote a lot of letters that year. That's because he was in prison. That gives you a lot of time to write. <gasps> Paul was in prison? Did he rob a bank? <laughs> uh, no. Remember in the book of Acts, we learned about Paul's three missionary trips and how when he got back to Jerusalem, he was arrested for preaching about Jesus. He was held in prison by Governor Felix, then Governor Festus, then was taken to Rome because he appealed to Caesar. Oh, I remember that. I appeal to Caesar. <laughs> That's fun. And it was while he was waiting in Rome to see Caesar that we believe he wrote these four letters. Yeah, 62 AD, sitting in prison in Rome. The last three letters, 1st and 2nd Timothy and Titus, were written in 64 or 65 AD. So this is how the Bible would look if the letters were in chronological order, the order in which they were written. Who did he write these letters to? His mom and dad? His first grade teacher? The President of the United States? I'm pretty sure we can rule that last one out. The name of the letter tells us who it was written to. Everywhere Paul went on his three big trips, people started following Jesus. All the Jesus followers in a city would meet together and form what we call a church, a word that means a group that assembles together. But Paul couldn't stay and keep teaching every one of these groups, so when they had questions about what Jesus taught or about how they should live as his followers, Paul would write them letters. Couldn't they just read the Bible? You know, the New Testament part? The New Testament hadn't been written yet. That's right. Mark may have begun working on his gospel as Paul was starting to write his letters, but no one would have seen it yet. Paul's letters were the first writings to really explain what it meant to be a Christian, to belong to Christ. Whoa, that's a pretty important job. It sure is. 
Before they add the Gospels of Matthew, Mark and Luke and John, the churches needed help to know just what to base their lives upon. So Paul wrote them a letter. He'd write them once, he'd write them twice. And make the problem better with helpful hints and good advice. what they need? They need it. Letters of Paul, the letters of Paul. Some are short and some are tall. Tall? You mean long. But that doesn't rhyme. Letters of Paul, the letters of Paul. Some are big and some are small. Oh, I guess that works. Many of the ones he sent are now in the New Testament. And one and all, from big to small, can read and love the letters of Paul. Well, that's fantastic, but what are these letters? What? You want us to name every one? Yes, every single one. All right. Romans and 1st and 2nd Corinthians and then Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians. Next is Colossians and 2 Thessalonians. Someone should hang these up in the Smithsonian. Now after Timothy 1 and 2, there's only two left for reading through. Titus Philemon, our last of all. Titus Philemon, so very small. Titus Philemon, the last of all. And those are the letters, the letters of Paul. Great. Those are the letters. Yep, those are the letters. <laughs>